Hey guys, welcome back to BMW Vlog and I'm in the car with Philip Ludwig. He's in charge of a very cool project here at BMW. It's called driverless testing cars. So tell me what we're doing right now, Ludwig. So that what will you do see here is nothing has nothing to do with the uh, driverless testing. Okay. Uh, not with the driverless autonomous function. Okay. Of the serial car. It's an only driverless testing element. We use it for endurance testing or we use it for uh, durability tests sure. and uh, preconditioning from total vehicle parts. Okay. Yeah. And, it, and it's actually fun to tell people that we don't have a driver right now. So we're inside an IX and so there is no driver. We're in the back seat and the car just drives by itself, right? Yes. We have in the trunk, we have a computer inside. Okay. With a uh, pre programmed uh, path. Okay. And the car is following this path with a uh, high precise uh, GPS signal. Perfect. And we're doing, at some point, we're going to be doing a close to 100 kilometers per hour, right? There will be some slaloms. Yeah, we can up to 10, 200 uh, kph. Okay. No problem, yeah. Perfect. It's easy for us to go on the racetrack, but we use it uh, normally for the uh, testing on uh, test flow, which uh, normally do in test driver. Gotcha. So tell me, what's the idea behind this project? So it's not, you know, to test a driverless, you know, or a, a self-driving car, but what's really the purpose of this project? Yeah. We want to uh, more quality, reproducibility for the test results. Okay. And uh, we have, uh, we can do it with one operator and uh, we can do it with uh, one serviceman it's okay. no problem, yeah. So basically you don't need to even, like some of the tasks might be simple tasks or just driving straight for hours. So this way you can automate the process and you don't need to have an actual human doing that process. And yeah. in the meantime, he can focus on other tasks, right? Yeah, yes. Normally uh, boring tests, uh, if a test driver has to do a uh, boring test uh, the whole day, yeah. it's now we drive uh, 100 kph. Yeah, so now we're doing some <laughs> slaloms. As you can see, we're moving around and maybe we can film this from yes. here too. But yeah, it is quite, quite easy to see a car that drives by itself like this. <laughs> you can see we're doing some slaloms here. So how is the technology working? So explain a little bit. So it's GPS based and also Wi-Fi, right? Yes, we have a computer in the trunk okay. and it's a pre-programmed uh, pass inside. And we have uh, one cable from the power supply, mm -hmm. yes, and one cable to the car, or two cables, it's a data bus connection. Okay. And we control the uh, car-owned actuators. Yeah, we have uh, now electronic power steering, we have uh, uh, electronic throttle, we have uh, electronic brakes. Yeah, no problem, we can control every car of BMW with this technology. This I see. Is. So from a safety perspective, if you lose, let's say you lose your connection to the Wi-Fi or to the GPS, yes. what's going to happen with the car then? We have a safety brake in the footwell, you can see. And if you lost uh, the pass, if you lost control, uh, lost Wi-Fi uh, or something else, yeah. the car will be make a full stop. So make a full, uh, full stop basically. Yeah, and no problem. Yeah. Very interesting tech. Normally, the techno technology is used by robotics, okay. and uh, we make it by our own to uh, control the actuators. The actuators. Yeah. We began 15 years before with the okay. robotics, and now it's time to do it with the own actuators, because Ooh. every car can do it, yeah. So you, you can apply this, the tech in other cars too, basically? Yeah. Okay. We have a five system now, okay. and we can switch it from car to car. So now we're going yeah. like 90 kilometers per hour, almost 100. Now we take a manual stop. Okay. It will be a little bit harder. Oh. That's it. Wow. Whoops. All right. So that's like an emergency <laughs> brake, basically, right? Yeah. It's very, very cool. Well, guys, uh, very interesting project. Uh, really cool to see what BMW is actually working on, uh, not just from a, you know, customer perspective but also to see how they do their job internally and i think this is a very cool project you know philip so uh thanks for letting me take a ride in yep. this car really interesting and guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming up you're welcome thank you